Yo, what's going on? 67 Let's go to here doing a rank 41. So uh yesterday I had my mic settings all messed up because I unplugged my uh what is it called? I unplugged my Go XLR, my mixer that manages everything. And so my game audio was louder than normal and my mic was quieter than normal, and so it seemed really bad. <sighs> my mistake. I apologize. I would love to tell you it's not going to happen again, but who knows? <laughs> you, know, you never know with me. It could happen tomorrow for all we know. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's what happened. My apologies, good sirs and madams. That's so cringe. Don't say, don't say madam. Madam. Fucking tips fedora. Cringe. Anyways, uh, we're going beads. We're going horn shard. I wish that there was the uh You know the the shard that you could use that proc like the Loki players would use? I forget what it's called. The one that lowers protections and or or takes their protections, gives it to you for like four or five seconds after you auto attack them. Minions have I wish that one was still a thing because I really actually enjoyed that one. I'm going to invade this guy because I don't believe a level three Artemis can clear a buff fast enough. Poi fix for me, baby. Poi oi oi fix for me. All right, he's going to outclear me, obviously. I don't do a great amount of damage. Oh, dodge these two is the worst. Actually the worst. He's going to invade, right? He's not invading. Oh, this guy put some respect on my name. Way too much of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he did want to invade. He just didn't have the cojones. All right. <clears throat> All right. Take a sip of the latte while we get back to base. Or to tower, I mean. I'm watching his gold. Seeing if his gold shoots up from doing blue. Oh, there we go. Blue is done. You know, if I was faster, if I used my two on cooldown, do you have beads? You do. Let's get those beads. Oh, he tried beadsing. So the thing about Daji that I really like is if you if you alt and then cancel the alt very fast, you can shoot you can like, like shoot the chain and cancel the alt at the same time. And basically what they have to do is they have to beads right when that alt connects or they're getting pulled. Uh, I did it really slow there. Like I was just, I was casual about it. I just shot the thing and canceled, but um, it's super strong. It, it works very, very well. And I'd recommend trying it out if you are going to play Daji. This, this is Tilt, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Uh, this is good old Tilt Tuesday. Making its return. And uh, we're doing Daji because... I asked Shiv what she wanted to see, and she said Daji, so here we are. Uh, you are deceased, correct? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Falcon. All right, let's just wait it out for the minions. <clears throat> wait it out for the minions, go back. I could go defense here. But I'm just going to go Hydras. I want to see how far this goes. This goes to tower, right? I tested this before. If you chuck it that way, it goes all the way to tower. You can watch on the, on the map, by the way. Yeah. It reveals him for 10 seconds, I believe. So it's actually pretty good. All right. Dead, maybe? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Hold on. You have beads? 
Wait, he doesn't have beads? Wait, I thought he had beads. For sure. That's why... Am I crazy? He didn't beads my first alt, right? Maybe he beads after he got pulled, hoping that it would help him live. Maybe he panic beads or something. And I just wasn't paying close enough attention to... To notice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Holy crap, dude. Okay. That was a low cringeopolis. He beads, but he dies to my, uh, he dies to my one tick damage there. Holy crap. Scary, man. So that was a little bit of a dumb fight for me to take because if he threed a little bit faster or if he threed his own feet, I would die. So the only way that I live and get that kill there is if he threes while I'm teleporting, which is, I mean, clearly that's exactly what happened. So I'm lucky there, but uh, against like, no offense to him, but against like a GM player, I would have died 100%. I can't TP, man. This is so rigged. All right. He's got no beads. He's got no CC immunity. Let's just snag him. Bring him back. I don't know why I'm doing so well with Daji, by the way. I, I really do not think this character is that good. In fact, I'd argue this character is straight up bad. I am going to murder him again, though. Nice. Nice. Hit him with the corner. All right. Good stuff. That'll take tower down. We can grab this thing that I still don't know the full name of it. Oh, the scepter. Scepter. Man, is it mannequin scepter? Oh, also, by the way, um, it is mannequin scepter, by the way. I'm pretty sure. This is like what it, like lore wise. Uh, but... Somebody in the comments was telling me the reason his tower turned green is because when the scepter is near your tower, it heals it. Is that the truth? Because my tower is missing some HP. I want to test it. Oh, it is true. Oh, that's really cool. Yo, so if you're defending, if you're if you're on the defense and you snag a mannequins, it could actually potentially save that Phoenix dive or that tower dive. Because it just it just does 25 healing per tick. That's actually so freaking cool, dude. That's so cool. I did not know that. So it's worth it. If you're not fighting anyone and you have the scepter, it's actually worth it to just AFK in your tower line if it's missing damage or missing health, I mean. That is so interesting. That's really cool, honestly. I really like that change, actually. All right, the uh, meteor is about to land. So we'll snag our scepter back. And then we'll go do Bull Demon. Because he is not leaving his tower line. He's a very, very scared little lad right now. As he should be. I have 30% pen. And a lot of sustain. And very high damage. So. If I was him, I wouldn't want to leave tower either. Alright. A little Bull Demon. <laughs> He's back in. I like that backing animation. It gave him like wings. By the way, something to note. Uh, Mannequin Scepter does a percentage of their HP per hit, I think. Um, therefore, just like 
old times. Nice! Uh, just like old times, like Sunder couldn't actually land the killing blow. Scepter cannot actually land a killing blow. It starts to become immune if they are too low HP. So, fun fact. If you have Scepter and you're trying, you're following someone trying to get the kill with Scepter, you can't. Um, that was a fun first game. I'll see you guys in game number two. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game number two. I've switched skins, obviously, even though let's be let's be honest. I should stay on this one. Um, I wanna oh my god, she has so many skins. Wait, why does Daji have more skins than Neath, bro? Vixen, seductress. Is this seductive? I mean, the way she stands up kind of is. All right, Kevin. <clears throat> Kevin on the Ishtar versus Sam Dude Daji. Let's play it. Kevin on the Ishtar has more MMR than, than me, which is both surprising and not at all, to be honest with you. Horrific is beyond broken, busted, and all around, like, not fair to play against. So if you have the option to buy Horrific against somebody who's not slow immune, you should do it. The reason I didn't buy it against Artemis is because I'm stupid and I didn't know if her two made her slow immune or if it just made her movement speed increase. But, uh, yeah. Do I have a special? I don't. I have a dance, though. What's my dance? Oh, it's it's the it's that, that uh, you know, it's the... Uh, I don't... Why did my brain think of Harlem Shake? It's the, um... Oh, man! I'm gonna get so roasted and toasted in the comments if I can't think of it, dude. Ah, oh, whatever. Roast me. I'm 30. Who cares? I'm 29. All right, he's doing the red, right? Yeah, he's doing the red. Oh shit, he's got horrific too. Wait, I got I got metagamed. No, I'm chilling. Okay, we're chilling. Very close to being metagamed though. I don't like this feeling. Not at all. Oh damn it, dude. Alright. I'm gonna hit a sneaky back. Yes. A sneaky seductive back. Um yo, Kevin outplayed the crap out of me there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run back. He's not gonna know what hit him. This is Daji coming back with full health, full mana again. Okay, never mind. He just outplayed me by clearing the wave. Never mind again. He's wasting all of his all of his resources. Oh, that stopped my two. Honestly, I win the auto battle though. Yeah, it's I win the auto battle and it's not close. All right, he doesn't have beads, by the way. Nice. Wait, uh, wait a second for the minions. Nice, dude. Let's go. Let's freaking go, gamers. All right, I'm backing. Him no beads is really, really good for me. Um, I'm gonna buy a mana pot because my mana seems to be a very big issue. By the way, uh, I don't think that stacking items are very good in duel anymore. As you've seen, I've gone Jotun's Wrath. Uh, well, I've gone Jotun's Wrath, but I've upgraded it to the Glyph. Um, and I'm gonna do it. I I'm not gonna upgrade to the Glyph this game probably because I don't feel like I got that much value of it last game. But um, upgrading Jotun's is like very, 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 very good right now. Okay, he definitely dealt some damage. My dude is my dude is damaging for sure. All right, not bad. He got red. I wonder if he got his blue actually. <clears throat> he got his Griffin Wing, which I hate, and he has Alt Up, which I don't like either, to be honest. Nice, very good damage on my part there. Very nice, baby. Very nice. 
Let's go. Alright. I'm not risky enough to go for the blue. I am not risky enough. I'm just going to get XP camps and the, uh, the treasure chests. And I'm going to grab a breastplate here. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab a mystical here. And the reason is mystical got buffed to do more damage per tick. And it gives you 40 protection still. Like breastplate gives you 60, I'm pretty sure. Or it gives you 50. So I don't know. I'm going to just try it out. Uh, it could be the complete wrong play. And if so, it's fine. I just want to test, you know? He has no beads, by the way, so he dies here. Perfect. Um, I mean, I guess I'll do this. The problem is, like, there's no real point in clearing like that because, um, uh, like, deactivating the tower, it's okay. But if you don't do much damage per auto, it's kind of useless gonna grab this oh, look at that damage dude look at that damage baby you got it back you got it back and I got mystical mail here I could just go spectral because I know he's gonna go crit because uh the optimal optimal um Hunter builds have double crit in it. However, now that I'm thinking more about it, um, this defensive item. Oh, he's dead, I think. Okay, he's not dead. What is this, gamer? All right. All right. This is good for me. Well, it would be if I had 19 more mana. Your middle tower is under attack. I will not... Nice, I caught him. Oh, horrific. Okay. All right, that's actually that's actually pretty good, I think. Getting horrific there, I will take. Actually, dude, mid guardian is just so good. No, I want to test. I want to test. Fuck it. Mid guardian would be amazing against Ishtar because if she uses her one two when I'm really close, not her one two combo, but her the you know the middle thing like the shotgun blast of her one. If she uses that while I'm close, it like fully stacks mid guard instantly. Which would be amazing. Um, but. Whatever, it's fine. I do think Midgard would be the better play, but I want to test Mystical. Just want to test it. He's got the Aussie online now. Oh, I thought I teleported to him, and I very clearly did not. I mean, that was decent damage. He's got the Aussie proc, though, which is the problem. You know, like, I'm not really going to be able to kill him. At least not yet. Grab this, and I actually will be grabbing this now. I have Horrific up and Alt up for next fight. I'm only 600 gold ahead, even though I'm three kills up, because my farming has not really been on point. To be honest, um, when I win these fights, I'm normally too low to actually, like, get anything off of it. Which is a little bit tragic. Oh, uh, let's get his alt. There we go. There we go. I'll take that. Nice. All right. I'm. Again, too low to actually get, like, really anything off of this. I can get the tower, though. And... 
I don't know, maybe look at red buff. Yeah, red's not up yet. All right, let's just grab the hydras. Honestly, him having no defense is crazy to me. It's actually insane to me. Him not going defensive third item. He's going XE third item. I guess I have mystical mail, but like... I'm not tanky. At least I shouldn't be. Where is he? There he is. Uh, he has XE, so he's going to be pumping numbies, but I got Hydras now. No! My thing didn't go off. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyways here. My, uh, I tried to shoot. I tried to shoot and, uh... Cancel at the same time, like I said beforehand, like in the last game, but my shot never came out, dude. And I ended up just canceling like a freaking moron and almost dropping my entire kill. The entire, the entire game plan, dude. That would have been tragic as heck. Right, I'm just going pure power now, like Heartseeker Crusher, because I have 10% pen here. Heartseeker is another 10% pen. Crusher is another 10% pen. And then with 30% pen, uh, I can actually just focus on base pen. So actually, you know what I can do here is I can go transcendence, a late transcendence. And, and the way that late transcendence works or the way that transcendence in general works, any stacking item in the game, I should say, <clears throat> is it's based off of damage now. So getting like transcendence and devils and stuff early game feels really, really bad in duel because you're not going to be doing much damage you know like there's only so many camps and people you can hit um so stacking items in dual feel kind of terrible but late game when you're doing more damage they stack more quickly so transcendence actually doesn't give you percent cooldown anymore it used to give you 10 percent cooldown now it gives you 10 base pen so because heart seeker and um nice i think you're dead Hold on. So because um, Heartseeker and Crusher are going to give me the remainder of um, my percent pen that I want, I can go just Transcendence to start stacking up that, that base pen, which is going to do very good. So I do believe, personally... That a late transcendence is far better than an early transcendence. Like I said, obviously I've been going Jotuns, right? So, you know, I practice what I preach in this scenario, but uh, I don't know. That base pen is just so good. So I'll have 10 base pen from this. And transcendence when it evolved gives 15, I believe. No, another 10. So you can see I just clear the whole wave. I only have one stack. So stacking items also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned, they, they give you more stacks for damage to gods. So it's better to hit gods, obviously, to stack. So I'll show you here. I'm going to get in a fight. I have five stacks. Okay, I got in the fight. I had five stacks. I ended the fight with 14 stacks, so. I actually think I win the game right here. Yeah, I think I just win the game. Um, Before I can get my transcendence online, but. I don't know. It feels really good. It feels really good. And this build is good. Like, obviously the mystical mail, you could subtract that for any defensive item, really. Like breastplate or mid guardian in Ishtar's case or spectral armor. If you know you're going to need spectral. Um, you know, you can you can substitute with that with a bunch of different things. But um, Yones gives mana. Hydra's gives mana. Obviously, Heartseeker gives mana. Transcendence does damage or give, gives you more power based on how much mana you have. So this build synergizes really well together. Um, the Yotans start into like Hydra's Transcendence or something like that. 
Uh, defensive item, uh, you know, I didn't love the mystical too much. I thought it would be fucking awesome, and it was not. It was just kind of mid. But I don't know. I'll see you guys in game three. What's up, gamers? I'm back. Oh, man, I used this duck to strin skin again. I My sincerest apologies, bigger brain gamer. Um, I wasn't paying attention. And... I deserve all the hate that you're going to send my way. Please lay it on thick. I'll never learn my lesson unless I'm disrespected to the utmost worst thing you can possibly say. Uh, nothing racist, though, because, you know, that's bad. Or like, you know, just keep it like, P like PG, like say I'm stinky or something. I'm not stinky. You met me at Worlds, some of you. I probably smelled good. I, I wear cologne pretty much every day. But, um... Well, every day that I go outside. I don't wait on my own house. That's weird. Um. All right. I'm fighting Kevin. Kevin is playing Rom. Last time I fought Kevin, he was playing Ishtar. Last time I fought Kevin, I built Mystical Mail. This time I play Kevin, I'm not going to build Mystical Mail. He is still playing Rom. Um, I assume... Ah! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Jeez Louise, my dude. Do we think that he wants to steal my stuff because of what I did to him last game? I think the answer is very clearly yes, he does, but he's not going to. He's just going to go do red. Which is fine. I'm cool with that. I'm getting owned. I'm getting owned. I'm getting owned. Um. Oh, he went beads instead of horrific this time. Interesting I gameplay. Okay. I do not like my play here. Yeah, he's coming this way. He's stopping me from getting that XP. Your middle tower is under yeah 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 he fucking owned me dude he fucking owned me he literally just stood in a corner and waited for me he knew i went for the xp camp and all he has to do literally all he has to do it's the simplest thing on the planet is just wait and he fucking owns me man well played Oh, he's just back. Damn, he's playing this so much better than last game, bro. The back there? Like, that's such a smart play instead of going for blue, even though he made it seem like he was rushing there. What a good play. He's honestly... I I can't be mad. He outplayed the crap out of me. And uh, he's continuing that outplay, so... Good on him, dude. Good on him. He's owning me. Didn't get that master's border for no reason. I mean, I don't think I, I don't think anybody has more than like ten ROM games played, or not many people, I suppose. Uh, you do not win this game, that's for sure. Okay, if I I literally. I I am so fucking bad. I'm actually so fucking bad. It's crazy. I'm so fucking bad. It's crazy. It was oh my god. All I had to do was fucking auto attack you absolute degen moron. I'm so stupid. Holy shit. That's crazy. All right, I have to AFK this game. I actually can't play it. I just have to AFK. I don't get to have fun this game. Your middle tower is under attack. Well, look at his damage output, dude.
I'll get that damage output, my guy. I misplayed this entire game so bad. I'm a thousand gold down. I don't know how I'm going to come back from this. He's got range and a uh, further build. And bigger power spikes than me. Don't die here. I don't know how I want to fight, to be honest with you. I genuinely have no clue. I horrific, he just dashes away. I don't horrific, he just wins the fight. I ult, he ults, his ult lasts longer. Yeah, I don't think I can win this game, dude. I mean, it's tilt, and I'm fucking tilting, so I guess it makes sense, but... Damn, I could have just played like I had a fucking brain cell, dude. Imagine? Imagine if I played like I wasn't a fucking moron. Did they make this in gold? I'm so mad at myself. I actually feel like throwing my monitor out a window right now. I have a window next to me. Might be worth. Oh, I can't even fucking see him. GG. GG. I lose the game. I mean, I definitely did more damage than he did to me there. Ow. Okay. Just hug in the corner. Wow. All right. This fucking game sucks.